Alrighty, so my next planner hack is going to show you guys how to go ahead and attach your own elastic to your planners that you find, okay? So you can have like a planner, like if you have one from Walmart or this happens to be the, like I said, the day designer from Target or whatever other planners that are spiral bound like this, but um, they don't have an elastic and you feel more secure having your things bound together. Let me show you guys how to do that um, by putting an elastic on the back so that way it can kind of drape over or secure your book closed, okay? So the very first thing you're gonna need, of course, other than your planner, um, is a ruler, and I have my Tim Holtz ruler right here. Um, I love this one because this one is a centering ruler, so if you put like the zero in the middle of a page, you can really figure out where the middle of something is. So I have that. Um, this is called a Crapodile by We Are Memory Keepers, and this thing is humongous. Um, I love this thing. It's great for punching holes. It has big holes that can really punch through a lot of different kind of material because it's like hardcore. Um, and it also can put eyelets in and brads and all of that stuff. Um, so I have this. I've had this for eons. Um, let me see. The hole sizes are 3 16 and uh, 1 8 is the other one. So that's that. Okay. And then I have a pen. Well, a Sharpie. Um, a pair of scissors. I got this um, decorative trim at Hobby Lobby, which is actually just elastic, um, different color elastic. It comes on the spool. And then I have some eyelets. And here are what my eyelets, I have just two teeny tiny ones. And they're so small that I, I am gonna show you that's what they are. But this is what they look like, okay? Um, this is a bigger size though, all right? Um, but, that's the one I'm going to use because the size of my elastic is really small. It's really um, thin. Let me see. This is hot pink and this is a 5 millimeter elastic size. Okay? So those are the basic things that you need. Pretty much you can find um, all of the stuff from Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever. Okay? This little spool right here was only $1.99. So, um, and if you have your 40% off coupon, it's, it's even less, okay? So what you're going to do first, you're going to flip to the back and you want your elastic to go on the back of your cover, okay? Um, and the good thing about this book is actually the back cover is um, this hard plastic, which is perfect for what I'm about to do. So in my opinion, I kind of want my elastic to be about a quarter of an inch or maybe even maybe a half inch from the edges okay so I actually have it here on my um, cutting mat and I can kind of see where a half inch would be sort of sort of give or take um, I think I'm gonna go here so let's go a quarter inch in from the bottom and a quarter inch in from the side and I'm gonna just put a little sharpie mark there and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Now this one um, is not going to be exact because as you can see, the top right here is about an eighth of an inch um, higher than my actual one inch mark, okay? But I don't really care about that. I mean, it doesn't have to be precise. I'm not like that anal about stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead, keeping in mind quarter of an inch from the top and quarter of, quarter of an inch from the side, I'm going to mark it again. <clears throat> now. I just ended up using my craft mat, but uh, by all means, you don't need a craft mat, just use your ruler. Depending on the eyelet size you use, which will depend on the size of your elastic, um, that will determine what size hole you're going to punch. So because my eyelet is small, I'm going to use the smaller hole punch, okay? And again, like I said, because this thing is heavy duty, it's going to be able to punch through this like butter. So all I'm doing is I'm putting the hole facing me so that I can see my um, Sharpie mark. And I'm just punching it through. And here it is, see? One hole, and let's do the other side. Now the thing about this thing is sometimes the little uh, hole gets stuck inside. You just like, kind of tap it out and it comes out, no problem. So then let's repeat the process. And whatever you do, when you're, when you're punching your holes, or doing anything that's going to close any of these things up, make sure your hand is nowhere near this because if your fingers get caught in this thing, it's going to hurt like hell, okay? 
Um, so anyway, let me line up the hole with the Sharpie mark. And I'm gonna punch that, and there it is. Okay, so there are our holes. Now, I'm going to take my elastic, and I'm going to kind of see where I want it to go. So I want it to go on the outside like this. And I want it to be, I want it to overhang about a quarter inch from the hole. So you can, I don't know if you can see it, let me move it to the side. So I want to have about a quarter of an inch overhang of the elastic away from the hole. And that's just for precautionary measures. We can always cut it down after we're done. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to do that, okay? Now if you are afraid that your elastic is going to move and it's going to irritate you, like it's kind of irritating me, you can get a piece of washi tape and just um, tape down the end of your elastic. So let me show you really quickly. And of course, you know it's going to be a ladybug. <laughs> so I'm going to put that here and just tape it down. And that'll just keep it everything in place. And I'm going to do another one over the bottom. Just to keep it. Okay, so there you go. So there you have it. And now what we're going to do is, because it's all, uh, it's pretty stable, we're just going to remark again where our hole is. And in a minute, you're going to see why I'm doing that. Now you can undo your washi tape. And then I'm going to take my crop a dial use the smallest side. And I'm going to make sure that I'm punching exactly in the middle of my elastic because if you deviate any other way, like I said, it's going to shred your elastic and that's not going to be a good thing. And if it starts to do that, just take your scissors and trim it. See that? There you go. And it has a little hole and you can it's hard to see it, but it's there, believe me. I'm just going to do the other side. Now that you have two holes on your cover, and then you have two holes on your elastic, what you want to do is, you want to just lay your elastic down and you want to line up the holes and then you're going to take your eyelet and you're going to run it through the hole in your elastic and the hole in your cover. Like that, okay? And then you're going to take your crop dial and one side has letters and one side is numbers. So the one I'm using, the setting I'm using is B1, okay? Then you're going to I don't know if I can show you this, but let me try. You're going to take the male part of the crumple dial and you're going to put it into the female part of the eyelet, like that. Then you're going to crimp it down. <coughs> then it's going to secure everything together. See that? <coughs> and what happens when you crimp it is that the other side of the eyelet, I don't know, if, there we go, the other side of the eyelet opens up and that secures it, so it's not going to go anywhere, okay? Now we're going to do that on the other side. Here's the trick to this side. Um, you want to kind of run the elastic back on itself and then you're going to tuck this part in underneath. So it's going to be like a reverse C. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing. Get your eyelet and run your eyelet through the hole in your elastic and then through the cover. And then we're going to just take our crumple down and do the same thing again. So that now, this is what it looks like. You see, um, it's fastened on both sides. You pull it over your planner and it secures your planner nicely together. See that? And like I said, if you don't like the over, if you don't like the overhang, um, you can always um, trim it off. But I mean, I would still leave a little bit. You can go down a little bit more, but I would leave a little bit of overhang anyways. But this is what um, this is how you would secure any kind of uh, spiral bound 
planner that doesn't have an elastic um, fastener on it, okay? So I hope this was helpful. If you, have, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know and um, I will be more than happy to answer. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my video and if you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and would like to be notified when new videos are uploaded, simply click the subscribe button or you can click around on the screen to watch a past video or to find me across the web. Talk to you later. Bye!